the view still well there's a chance to recap highlights and plenty of them Tony well it certainly were and this one is a free kick straight into the box and Benaglio really had a poor attempt but put his hand to a Glenn Johnson header and just about saved he going from in the back of the net but really Benaglio a couple of occasions today really has struggled with that cross ball, cross field ball Joe Hart was quickly into action. That was deflected, the shot by Gherkin, and the follow-up by a dirty up wouldn't have counted. He was offside. I think Inler really did pull the strings in that first half. This deflection here sent Joe Hart back the other way, just did enough to keep it out. England playing with just one uh, central striker, and Rio Ferdinand joining the cause, finding himself in that central striking area, the centre-back. It was a pretty decent attempt. Well, three goals in five minutes, crazy, really. Barnetta's free kick. We see that from time to time, don't we? England didn't want to see it today. Unfortunately not, but you have to hit that area, go for the far post, exactly what he did. It was a quality ball in. Keeper wasn't sure whether to go left or right. In the end, didn't either, and ended up in the back of the net. Ferdinand was wrong-footed by Dirty Ox presence. Another free kick very shortly afterwards. The parting of the ways with the wall. And Barnetta again, absolutely incredible. And Joe Hart was so disappointed with his wall because he put his two men out there and it's Milner that breaks away. It goes in between both of them and Joe Hart cannot get back in time. But Barnetta, how could he squeeze it in there? There is no space at all, but he found the space to put his side two up. But uh, Siegler was caught going forward and then Jack Wilshire powering in. Lining up the shot. Broke back to him, and Johan Juru, his uh, teammate in North London at uh, Arsenal, just clattering into Jack Wilshire. An obvious penalty. No, it certainly was. Have to get the ball. He got nowhere near the ball. Wilshire's tenacity, first with winning the challenge and then shooting and then getting the rebound as well, wins his side a penalty. Frank Lampard, England's first choice penalty taker. Wasn't too far away from Benaglio, it went underneath him really, and just the forcefulness of the shot. It was just vital that he kept his nerve and stuck it in the back of the net, and it really was a gift from Switzerland to England to get them right back in the game. It was a 2 0 down, if it then went on for the 10 15 minutes, it really could have seen Switzerland maybe go on and grow. However, this goal brought England right back into the game. Well, Lampard was off at half time, on was Ashley Young. Milner, Baines who came on early in the first half for Ashley Cole, setting up Ashley Young, and that's a, a very high-class equaliser. It was, and the substitution really did change things. Baines were there in the box, he chests it down beautifully for Ashley Young, who had one thing in his mind, and that's to smack it hard and low into the far corner. He really was a positive impact from Ashley Young in the first five minutes, and here it's his just rewards from being left out. Let's come on showed the quality that he's got to get his side at 2-2, then you thought England will come right back into this. And they really should have done that, because there were two golden opportunities. Well, this was, if there's anything more valuable than gold, Darren Bent was put through by Wilshire, but he was to get easier opportunity than this. Uh, goalkeeper actually did quite well this time, Tony, didn't No, he? I think he did. I think Wilshire, again, wonderful play, and he couldn't quite get it up over the keeper because he came out very quickly and smothered the ball. Well, this is not something to take away for your summer recess, but I'm afraid Darren Bent has to do that. Ashley Young had made the incisive run and had the shot. First lips. Fabio Capello, and you can understand why. There again, Ashley Young, positive, gets it off. Darren Bent, good shot, but what a bad miss that is. He's had so many scoring opportunities like that at Villa, Sunderland, Tottenham throughout his career, and he's just stuck them away. That's how he's made his name. Unfortunately, he's missed a big one, a very important game. And uh, Giroud had a mixed time today. Milner got in behind him as Giroud ran past the ball. Actually, uh, under challenge, it must be said. 
couldn't hit the target. No, but Juru's made probably three or four big mistakes. We punished one with the penalty there. Should have been another one. Senderos probably just does enough to save his centre-half partner. Well, into an intriguing closing stage when Omar hits well to put his youngsters on. And uh, Mehmedi just always dragging that one wide. These are boys are going off to represent Switzerland in the under-21 finals next weekend. Well, they were full of energy, full of running, and they were positive there, just always going away with his left foot. Joe Hart probably had it covered. In comes Stuart Downing, last kick of the game. It finished 2-2, and Switzerland deserved their point.